Back now to the border crisis. We just told you about the end of Title 42. It comes one day after Governor DeSantis signed a controversial immigration bill here in Florida. And local news reporter Hatzel Vela is live for us in Miami with reaction coming in today. Hatzel? Christy, Janice, no coincidence, this took place right here in the shadows of the Freedom Tower, obviously very significant when it comes to uh, not just history here in South Florida, but immigration history as well. Of course, this group was denouncing uh, the recent law or the bill that was signed by the governor into law when it comes to immigration. As you know, the law now requires that employers uh, that have more than 25 employees uh, use the e-verify system to make sure that the folks are legally here in the country. It also uh, goes after folks who transport undocumented workers into the state of Florida. And of course, uh, some of the most controversial parts of the law is a uh, $12 million that the governor now gets for his relocation program, something that we saw last year when it came to that group of Venezuelans that were sent to Martha's Vineyard. We did have somebody some representation here from the Venezuelan exile community who feels like all this is is political and that they're being used as political pawns. Immigrants and especially Venezuelan immigrants have learned the hard, the hard way that we are pawns in the political game of a Republican governor and a Republican legislature that uses us for their political games or when they need to win votes in Florida. But this bill was passed with the complicity of legislators who are Cuban American, like myself, who proudly tout their own immigrant backgrounds to campaign, then turn their backs on those seeking the same refuge our families sought and received. On this very spot is especially egregious and an act of base political cowardice. A lot of outrage, so much so that there was several events throughout South Florida, another press conference at a different location. We're going to wrap both of those, both of these up for you later on today. But for now, reporting live from downtown Miami, I'm Hatsopala, Local 10 News.